so we're doing OSW today. Uh, kind of backtrack a little bit. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got a Jay-Z. Uh, it's literally sitting in my house right now, in my living room. It's crazy. I made an April Fool's joke about it. I got it. Here's a picture. Uh, anyways, yeah, going moving forward. Um, my buddy John gave me a VVTi GE head for it. It's a 2JZ GE block with a big single. Um, it's out of an NAT Supra, a Mark IV. Uh, kind of whatever. It's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be like six months before I can afford to like put it all in. But slow process. I'll have all the vlogs to go with that. Anyways, yesterday I went to Ashton Tire. Uh, we got all the stuff squared away. We got my tires uh, that John also hooked me up with. Shout out to John. Clearly this vlog is sponsored by him. Um, but uh, yeah, we went. I made a little sequence. Check it out real quick. drive today and I'm also going to do a little vlog kind of showing you guys how to shoot photos uh, real quick. I made a vlog, or no, sorry, not a vlog, a post on Facebook saying I'd help anybody that wants to come out to the track learn how to take track photos. So if you're ever out here, find me. I'll walk you through everything. I'll give you help on anything you need. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. I'm going to drive now and then uh, start running you guys through things.
So I've been giving Taylor hell about having spots on his sensor. So I just cleaned this sensor and I'm gonna wipe his lens and everything, trying to clean it up. Uh, so yeah, shout out to him. It might be unsavable. It, it's gonna be savable. Because the, the lens, the lens itself is also pretty dirty, but I've cleaned it before and it didn't help anything. And the lens is kind of broken. You're right. I gotta sit in and get it fixed. Oh yeah, no, that's cleaning it. Oh, look at that. These are the Walmart Zeiss wipes that we always swear by. So, as part of my mini-series of helping people learn how to do some photography stuff, I also posted on Facebook, if anybody's out here and needs help, I'm here, like I said before. So, basically right at this point, I wanted to try and help people learn how to pan or look for spots on the track to get the best photos. Right now, I'm at the initiation point. It helps if you practice, like, where you can start, like, you know, kind of getting the, the motion down. You start to focus with, like, AI Servo or AI Continuous if you're on Nikon or or whatever it works, you know, whatever is continuous focus on your camera. Essentially, I start focusing as they're coming in and then I start to click as they, they start to pass. I typically start with a shutter speed in shutter speed mode at 1 1 60th and then I work my way down to 1 1 40th, 1 30th, depending on how confident I get and just, you know, the general overall feel of it. So here are the cars coming right now. Start focusing. <laughs> around it gives you a secondary like a second try I guess at following the pan so they pan on the in and then pan on the out and if you really need practice just pan as they're leaving the track because they're moving at a slower speed and it allows for you to just get practice and work at it Also, don't forget you're gonna get a bunch of photos that you're just gonna throw away. You're gonna mess up a bunch. It takes practice, it takes time. Nothing, nothing happens overnight, so don't get too frustrated. All right, so as we're seeing the face off, as they're coming head on, as they're coming head on, you can run a higher shutter speed because you're not gonna see wheel spin and get free frame shots. That way you get the smoke and that because it's coming around the last turn. It shows the angle and everything. And that way you get shots that are still dynamic without the motion blur or anything like that of drifting. And it doesn't look like the cars are parked on the track because the smoke adds to the motion. On the next couple of cars I'll show you, I'll just kind of follow them around and as they get right to that area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. All right, this should be good. screen. All right, quick reiteration of what I went over. Uh, basically, if the cars are passing you and you can see like you can create motion, shoot slower shutter speeds, shoot in shutter speed mode, and work your way down. The slower the shutter speed, the more the motion blur. Um, and for the front shots where you don't see the wheel spinning, position yourself where you see the front of the car and then you can shoot at a higher shutter speed and get like a static, like emotive, like action kind of shot, which I showed you before in the pictures. Hopefully that helps. I'll have more tips in future videos and that way I'll break up some of the like vlogging like so it's not just me driving and being boring because I'm not really doing anything crazy anyway. So yeah, hopefully this helps and uh, you know, leave some comments. I'll also go over like ND filters, polarizer, stuff like that later on and how they help for this stuff. But for now, I guess that's good enough and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.